adequately equip and modernize food testing laboratories to enhance food safety, noting that food safety should not only be for produce for the export market, United Nations Industrial Development Organization Food Safety and Trade Development expert Ali Kazilbash says quality food is key in minimizing health costs and loss of human labor. The World Health Organization estimates that 90 million people in Africa fall sick every year after consuming contaminated food and 137,000 of them die as a result. To enhance food safety in Kenya, UNIDO is calling on the government to improve food testing facilities across the country to enforce safety standards. According to UNIDO, the government should consider food safety testing be carried out by organizations under the Ministry of Agriculture instead of CABS. The point is in CABS the Kenyan uh, Bureau of Standards. Now, um, of course, Kenya is uh, um, a sovereign country and has its own uh, sort of decisions to make. For markup project and for the UNIDO perspective, we uh, promote the fact that these there should be a, a clear segregation between standards bodies, which are really linked with technical barriers to trade, and SPS regulatory authorities. Because standards, according to the WTO uh, definition, are voluntary, whereas regulations are mandatory. The UN organization is also proposing that tested agricultural products be clearly labeled and sold at a premium to encourage farmers to produce safe food crops. You pay a little extra for something that's certified to a large extent, reducing the risk of contaminated food uh, more mm -hmm. So you, the cost of that may be, you know, uh, a shilling or two more per kilo, but at the long term, you are ensuring that you are eating safe food. The private-public partnership has also been backed to help enhance food safety efforts with the private sector charged with enforcing safety standards along the food value chain. Must have qualified, trained inspectors with the proper equipment to inspect the entire supply chain from as they say, proverbial farm to fork. So you have to look at how the product is farmed, how it's then the post-harvest aspects of it, how it's harvested, how it's uh, stored, transported, and then eventually uh, reaches its export uh, destination. These players are calling for reduction on the use of pesticides in agricultural production, especially as Kenya seeks to increase horticultural exports to the EU market. Benson Ryoba reporting for Channel 1 Business.